welcome to Gemstone Tarot. This is your daily tarot for Monday, 26th of November 2018. You lot are so good on your herbs. What is going on? Every time I do it and I'm stumbling through a reading thinking, oh my God, what? how do you pronounce Agnes, whatever it is, you're just like, yep, I know that one. You use it for this, you do it for that. And I'm like, okay. Most of them sound really good, and I'm starting to think, where can I, ooh, where can I get this stuff? Justice, right in the middle, right in the middle, nice. Ooh, that's come up loads. Ooh, chamomile, I know that one. That makes a really <laughs> disgusting tea. Oh, okay, Slippery Elm. I know Slippery Elm. Slippery Elm is good for stomachs. Get me. Okay, it's like a kind of stomach lining thing, isn't it? And other things. Ooh, I can't pronounce that one, so we'll come to that. Ho, 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 ho. Okay, Harsh Realities for a Monday morning. KN, I know that. Okay, people. We've been in this thing for a while of letting go of something that we wanted. It's kind of a promise of something. I've got the Knight of Cups in reverse. I'll show you him in the upright because he's really nice. But, you know, he's in the reverse. Now, nevertheless, cards when they go into the reverse are not just like boom that's the opposite meaning of the upright they're still on the table the presence of them is still here but the tilt of the situation is a bit different now sarsa perilla sarsa perilla okay i don't know if that's the berries or the green bits it's interesting because i'm doing um plant biology with the boy at the moment which for me is a complete revelation so I just learned about all the things that are inside the leaf today yeah yes knight of cups in reverse knight of cups in reverse it is like an offer it is an offer of something emotional uh, Pisces Cancer Scorpio but more importantly a cup a cup something unknown you don't know what's in the cup and it's offered and it's a drink and it's feelings and it's intuition, it's dreams, it's all that stuff. Again, we're still in the retrograde period and then we move into, we've moved into Sagittarius, yes. Come on Gemma, click, click. It feels like there will be some kind of knowledge coming in which will make us realise it wouldn't have been that good for us or that we don't want it anymore for the reasons that we thought we did. I hope that makes sense, okay? There is an adjustment to the scale. Justice, plantain. Just love the way that this woman, the Red Riding Hood woman, and this has come up a lot, hasn't it, recently, is framed in the middle of the trees. And I like the way that the sword is just like leaning against the tree. It's like, I don't need to use that sword, but I'm just drawing it to your attention that it's leaned against the tree. I could draw it if I wanted to, but I've got my crystal ball and I've got my scales. Justice, this could be to do again, and this has rumbled on for some people with a legal, an inheritance, um, anything with the legal system, courts families, agreements, contracts, but it can also be soul cron, cron, soul contracts in relationships, okay? Because underneath it, 10 of cups. Now this can be, this is the cannabis card, somewhere over the rainbow card, the jam tomorrow, the next day, and for the rest of my life card. This can be the bounty, literally, it can be an inheritance, money that is owed to you, but it can also be the idea that you could have been happily ever after with somebody. There's a certain amount of regret feeling here. I've got the four of pentacles in reverse. He was in the upright for quite a long time last week. Cascara bark. 
cascara bark. I love this Four of Pentacles card. Now in the upright, buttoned up, keeping feelings to himself or herself. In the reverse, it's my emotional percolator. Emotions, things flowing out, things finally, you know, the Ten of Cups, that's a lot of stuff flowing out. It's tears, sadness, it's releasing the rainbows, you know. That's a nice rainbow picture as well. I love a rainbow. I love a rainbow patch on denim, you know, 1970s. I've got my grifter bike. I've got me my flared jeans or whatever, little 80s snow wash, little patch, rainbow patch on the denim. Yes. Ten of cups in reverse, justice above it. Four of pentacles, the release of the idea, the emotions, the hope for it, whatever it was. Very much telling me to do that. Okay, yes. Over here, the moon in reverse. I like that. Lemon balm. Now, I know lemon balm because I've grown that in my garden and it stinks really nicely. Really whiffy, isn't it? That's a great card for the moon. Look at that. I love this tarot pack. Moon in reverse is, again, scales falling from your eyes. It is... Let me just... Yeah, got my hot water bottle. Scales falling from your eyes, it is mysteries kind of, you know, mysteries don't get cleared up. They just become less mysterious. <laughs> it's that feeling. They don't get cleared up neatly. Life is not neat and it certainly isn't neat when you've got the moon involved. The moon is, is for me quite sloshy, quite burgeoning, quite unknowable at times it represents Pisces in the terms of the dissolution of ego and the 12th house and all that kind of stuff and the unknowable but just because something is unknowable you know you can get a kind of an emotional clarity on it and I think that's what's going to happen chamomile the ace of swords that's nice. Chamomile tea is not nice. And I know that you're going to all probably write in and tell me that it is, but I've tried it and I really can't stand it. It seems like a good idea, but it just tastes like bad old hedges or something that you'd sweep off the floor. Anyhow, chamomile, a beautiful plant nevertheless. Aha moments and super clarity. And I feel like that with the justice card is and the ten of cups in reverse is like i don't know it can't pierce through the moon but it certainly pierces the veil of understanding the veil that neptunian veil of mm, you know mm, <laughs> that's my mime for the neptunian veil with sound effects <laughs> if you ever want to know how a triple Pisces thinks, okay, or what is actually going on in here during the quiet moments, mm, that's it. <laughs> that is it. Slippery Elm, Wheel of Fortune. What a nice Wheel of Fortune card as well. I mean, it's lush, isn't it? Wheel of Fortune, Major Arcana, Better Things, Better, Better Things. Wheel of Fortune, then Justice, and above it, only Sky. Strength. K-N. Tst. Okay, hot. Hot knowledge, hot strength. It feels good. That feels really good, actually. An eight as well in tarot. It's a card of gathering together and doing something about it. This can only be a good thing, but it's going to feel a bit like you are a bit bereft. Okay, I'm going to recap because somebody asked me to recap. I do read the comments. Someone said, can you recap? And they were very polite because <laughs> I think what well, I probably had one of those days where I'd gone really mm, like that. And then they must have thought I kind of trailed off understanding wise there. Oh, yes. Okay, so I find it hard to recap. You might have noticed justice, something to do with courts legal stuff inheritance or karma in general what people owe you what you owe them karmic debts soul contracts all that stuff 
for some of you to do with relationships with the Ten of Cups, but also to do with whatever your rainbow is, your happy ever after, and who could have offered it to you in whichever way that was, which can be love or otherwise. A mystery being cleared up in some way leaves you bereft because at least when it was mysterious, you didn't know. But now you do. What you don't realise is that the Wheel of Fortune makes that a happy lottery for you. Clarity is your friend because it gets the momentum of this going, although it will be emotional. I recapped. Exchanging gifts is the Oracle card. As my mum would say, a fair exchange is no robbery. And this is that as well. This is about what someone else can bring to the table, what you can bring to them. Okay. For some of you, and this isn't woo, all of you, it was one way traffic. Okay. It was one way traffic. Yeah, look at that. I have to have at least that one. Friendship. Fair exchange is no robbery. I'm getting for a few of you, neither a borrower nor a lender be as well. Okay. Maybe just one or two of you. Ideas and inspiration. I feel that comes from having the moon in reverse, but also from the ace of swords. Woo, look how it goes all light and dark when I do that. Ace of swords. That's, um, that's in itself. It's the aha moment and it just kind of pierces open an idea and understanding. Kind of, can, is there such a word as epiphanic? It's epiphany type thoughts, okay? Whew. So, check out my December readings. Yee-haw! Okay, and my pick a card readings. Do please share this video. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel if you haven't already. Hit the subscribe button and hit the like button. Hit the wiggly bell, okay? And I'll see you tomorrow. Namaste.